Hey everyone, Jeff Lee here at Able Cine. I am at the Red Digital Cinema booth. Uh, right next to me, of course, is the brand new, just announced weapon. Uh, we are really proud and really excited to be uh, one of the new authorized resellers for Red, so we thought we'd come over here and check it out right away. I have right here the magnesium uh, weapon. There's, of course, the carbon fiber uh, weapon available as well. One of the biggest things that Red did with the uh, camera body compared to, say, the original Epic or Epic uh, Dragon uh, was they really listened to a lot of the user feedback. Uh, they built in a lot of cool, kind of smart and neat features, we think. So, for example, if you take a look at this 7-inch touchscreen, uh, and if you look at like, this newly designed EVF, you notice there's no cables coming out of them. That's because the, cam the camera has two ports for screens or EVFs, and these can plug directly into uh, the body itself. Of course, you can also get an adapter if you wanted to plug in the original Limo cables. If you wanted to extend the viewfinder or the screen or put it somewhere else, you have that flexibility. But it is really nice to know that you could it's very modular, it attaches directly to the body. Even this new top handle has a built-in start and stop switch. So if you're you know, running low mode or whatever it is, you actually have the ability to start it from the handle directly without having to wire anything in. Standout features, of course, we all have heard probably that the carbon fiber version will support 8K. That's coming in the future. At the moment, it is a 6K Dragon sensor that we've all you know, been used to and been using for a little bit now. Uh, 6K Dragon sensor, it's got the uh, similar resolutions you know, in terms of uh, 6K up to 100 frames. One of the biggest additions was ProRes. So this now has additional support for ProRes 2K up to 120 frames. Simultaneously, at the same time as your Red Raw to the Mini Mags. Uh, of course, this uses Mini Mags because Mini Mags are faster than the original 1.8 um, inch hard drives, or SSDs rather. Uh, but again, it has all that kind of built in. You know, of course, when you have recording built into the same media, it's nice to know, you know, for transcoding reasons that you're not losing anything, uh, have the ability um, to keep those files intact. Kind of interesting thing for me on the post side, which I think is really interesting, uh, the new version of Red Cine X has three different modules now. So they actually have kind of a uh, stills workspace, a motion workspace, which we've all come to kind of uh, know and love, and now a new kind of onset transcode space. So if you're onset, all you got to do is blow through some footage because you have like a bunch of clips coming in. That's got a new, very simplified workspace. Added support for 3D LUTs, uh, you know, 33 by 33 by 33 on the, um, or 17 by 17 by 17, of course, as well. Uh, currently announced will be supported for dot .cube format, so right out of Resolve, you can load a LUT right into the camera body, or through Red Cine X, that also supports 3D LUTs as well. They've also added, this is big, at least for me, uh, built-in ProRes encoding. So previously, of course, you had to have a Mac computer, you had to have Final Cut Pro, or the ProRes library built into your machine in order to export in ProRes. Now, even if you're on the Windows side, because they have the official partnership with Apple, you're able to export ProRes coming out of a PC as well. So a lot of really slick, neat things about this. Uh, they've even introduced a Ethernet Gig E option, so I can directly connect this camera via a Gig E cable to my SAN or to my Thunderbolt hard drive and record the Red 3D, the R3D rather, files directly to the hard drive. Um, a lot of neat things. So there's a couple of new accessories on this which I kind of like. Uh, on here we have what they call the base module, which has kind of your standard outputs, the HDMI, your SDI, your power inputs, time code, headphones, etc. Really slim little piece that kind of sits right there. Comes out the side at a nice angle. And this new uh, side panel here, which kind of is very similar to the switchblade that they introduced for the original Epics. You know, you have all the camera control on this side, so you don't need to use the handle or the wireless link if you don't want to. For us uh, movie guys, they also have this new thing called the Jetpack, which reorients a lot of the outputs, specifically HDMI, in kind of a north-south or downward position. So, of course, if you're having a gimbal, you, you don't really want to have cables jutting out the side, you know, but a downward position is pretty neat. A couple other uh, modules, including one that I'm going to call the Pro, you know, kind of like the Pro uh, I.O., but an updated version of it, which actually has the Red Volt, uh, original small Red Volt built into it as well. So it has a lot of the kind of expandability options and ports built right in. So uh, it's not all that different from the Epic in terms of the overall shape. It looks, you know, a quick glance, you might think you might mistake this for original Epic Dragon. Uh, but if you look at kind of the stuff that they did behind the scenes and the connectivity and all that other stuff, you realize that, hey, they really listened and they paid attention to all the uh, user feedback. And they built the new camera, you know, it's, again, it's the great 6K sensor that we're all used to with the future option to go to 8K, uh, which again will be somewhat in maybe like 2016 or so, they're saying, approximately. Um, at 8K, it's got a very large sensor, a little bit larger than full frame. Uh, it's about 40 by 20 millimeter, so quite large. But more details will be coming in that soon, you know, in the coming months or in the coming year, I should say. Uh, so we're looking forward to hearing more. They'll be releasing more details as we get them. But we're looking forward to having them in our education classes or just in our hands in general. Uh, so that's it for now. Stay tuned for more.